I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Hey you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to be transforming this set my friend came in for her nails and i was absolutely gutted to see the damage that had been caused and it was literally honestly so heartbreaking i'm not even gonna stress how emotional i got over this like it was terrible so yeah i'm just coming in and i start pushing back the cuticles and I'll let you listen to the next part because I was so sad. Oh, I think it is in your nail. It's for yeah. Does she hurt you when she fails? No, she did it. She they go around with a with, with electric drill. Yeah, I know, but, the edges, but she's really hurt. so she's had it on an angle that's been like yeah. that and gone into yeah, your nail. Yeah, yeah. And it's I can feel that. Like I'm actually ridge. Hmm. Terrible, terrible place. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise, why would there be a line if she's used it's... the same thing? Yeah, so it, that's what it is. It's literally from a dent in your yeah, nail. a dent in your nail plate. I thought it was because she'd used infill. A yeah, color infill. But when you look behind and look forward, it does look the same. It's just it's got a red line. And that's all it is. Just damage to the nail plate from the e-flower because she's not used it right. Nonetheless, we are going to do our best today to transform these babies and make them look beautiful since it's my friend's daughter's wedding and that's what these nails were, we were meant to be for. And I was just like, oh, hell no. Let's fix them up. <clears throat> so I'm coming in first with some prep. As you saw, I've pushed back the cuticles and I'm coming in with my Outer Space Nippers from Glitter Planet. And I'm just removing any dead skin. I don't like to do this too much. I know some techs do these Russian manicures and they remove a whole lot of that um, eponychium area and all of the skin and everything like that. And that, to me, honestly, it makes me cringe. And I know it sometimes can look good. Sometimes it looks just down, right, wrong. I am not gonna lie, it freaks me out. But done nicely can look great. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's different opinions on all of that, but yeah, just taking any way, um, any of the loose skin away or any bits that are like peeling or flaking. So I'm using the Essential E-File Bit Collection from Glitter Planet. And honestly, absolutely love this drill bit collection. And we also have a lot more um, bits listed on the website as well. So don't forget to check those out. I'll have them all listed down below for you guys if you want to obviously check them out. So yeah, I'm coming in with the ceramic bit just to remove this French. It was just a regular polished French over the top of clear acrylic. So it was super easy to remove, which made everything a little bit better. Like I didn't have to file for days trying to remove the white acrylic or the nude. It was simply a case of removing that clear polish, debulking the nails, removing the excess, and then coming straight in with the design. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will be right back. And guys, please don't forget that you can sign up for memberships. I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you guys. So those of you that are members will have already seen this video because you get early access. And also you will have new content exclusive for members as well. So I'll have the links, as I said, down below for you guys if you want to join with that and become a part of the Ninja Squad. So next I'm coming in with the 100, 180 grit nail files from Glitter Planet. They come in packs of five. They are super value for money and I love these files. They are my favourite files ever. And I'm basically just prepping the natural nail but also blending the acrylic in and removing some of the bulk as well and I'm being extra gentle on that natural nail I think I just run over that once very very gently with the file and then the rest of it is on top of the acrylic it's not on the natural nail we didn't want to do any more damage there we were literally just removing that surface shine
Thank you, thank you. I can't believe I feel so sad about your nails. I feel like I've let you down, Kelly. <laughs> no, it's not. You haven't. I, you haven't. I have let you I, down. I your like nails said, have died. <laughs> <laughs> we should bury them. <laughs> Chop them off. <laughs> Okay, so now all of my prep work is finished. I'm coming in with this beautiful nude acrylic. This is from the Nailmate acrylic system. And honestly, it's one of my faves. I've got a few favorite nude colors and this is definitely one of them. I think I'll find myself reaching for this a lot because it's just absolutely gorgeous. Excuse me, I am getting a dry throat. I think I need to get a glass of water. Anyway, I'm coming in and I'm building the nail bed area up and I'm doing it in the reverse method which means that I'm building my pink area first or my nude and then I'm going to come in and do the white afterwards. This just gives a really crisp, refined smile line and it's honestly, it's the worst thing to not have a crisp smile line. To me personally, it is a terrible, terrible disaster. So always try and work on that if you're having issues. Um, and just practice a lot. Practice, practice, practice. Also, the brush I'm using is the number 10 Magic Stick, my absolute fave ever. Again, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And yeah, this is the same process that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do all 10 nail beds and then I'm going to come back and apply the white. I'm only going to show you the white on a couple of nails because, like, you didn't really need to see the process over and over and over again because it's literally just applying the white and butting it up to the pink so yeah i'll go ahead and do that and i'll be back later on in the video so i hope you enjoy this section don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already and also comment down below if you think i did okay on this transformation
Okay, so now once I've finished applying the acrylic and everything has set, it's time to come in with my e-file again using that ceramic bit from the Essentials collection. And I'm going to go ahead and reveal those beautiful crisp smile lines. And this is one of the most satisfying parts of doing a French or a, um, a nail with a smile line or any colour blocking. It's just honestly so satisfying revealing those crisp sharp lines. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, debulk around the cuticle area, just really, you know, do most of the shaping with my e-file and then I'll come in with my hand file just to finish file and then we're ready to add some Swarovski crystals and also some top coat as well. Okay, so I'm just showing you our new lint-free wipes and these are one of the best lint-free wipes that I've ever, ever used in my whole entire life. So I knew that I had to have them when I trialed and tested them and honestly, you will not be let down. I'm only wiping off a little bit of a nail here. She just literally got a tiny bit of black mascara on there just before I top coated and I spotted it, thank the Lord. So I'm just wiping it off and then I'm coming in with the top coat and this is gonna be the top coat from Nailmate, the No Wipe Top Coat. And yeah, it's honestly absolutely bomb. And I'm so excited to be introducing all the little parts to the system. And then eventually, obviously, we'll have our big launch. So I don't know when that's going to be. I'm hoping it's sometime soon because I'm so freaking desperate to share it with you guys. But yeah, I'm applying the top coat and then I'm going to go ahead and cure it in the light for 30 to 60 seconds. And then I'll be back to show you guys the final result. Okay guys, so this is the final result after adding some cuticle oil. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and seen this transformation. Again, if you see, if you are a nail tech and you damage people's nails like this, please don't do it. It's not responsible, it's not acceptable, and it's not cool. And if you see anybody's nails like this, please help them, save a life. Take them from their misery and bring them back. Alright? Thank you. Thank you so much for watching guys and please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye! I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back.